This is the book of Jude, verse 7. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, are set for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Ka Halal Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Waharaka Kwadash, double honor to my teachers, the apostles and elders of the great millstone, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect that continue in the work of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, in all fear, Shalom. Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying. The book of Jude, verse 7 again. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, are set for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. All right? And that vengeance of eternal fire is going to come upon America by the way of thermonuclear missiles just as elements of fire destroyed the cities that the example was set this the example was set not to rule a kingdom the way that these kingdoms was ruled and the rulers of America starting with the world bankers the wicked that the bible speaks of are ruling this kingdom in the same manner that these wicked kingdoms was ruled which America is the most wickedest kingdom ever erected it's all of those sins of those past kingdoms wrapped into one. And if the Most High destroyed those kingdoms with fire, all right, like Sodom and Gomorrah, America shall be destroyed in like manner because an example has been set. This is the book of Second Peter, chapter 2, and verse 6. And it reads, matter of fact, I'm going to start at verse 5. And spared not the old world, but saved Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. And here in these end times, a flood is going to come upon the ungodly, just like in the days of Noah. And we are symbolic for Noah because we are the righteous preachers. We are the righteous prophets that are warning our people, number one, that America is going to be destroyed. But that flood is not going to be by water. Every time you see the rainbow, right, that's symbolic for the Most High is not going to destroy this place with water, but he is going to plead with all flesh, all right, with his sword. And that ultimate sword is the thermonuclear missiles. Verse 6, And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemn them with an overthrow and what makes ashes fire and that's how the most high is going to judge this place with fire and that fire is going to come by the way of thermonuclear missiles continuing in second peters 2 and 6 making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly so the example has been set uh how you shouldn't rule a kingdom and the wicked elites are ruling these kingdoms starting with America because the earth has been given into the hands of the wicked. So the wicked elites are running the world and they're running the world all right, in a wicked way. They are the ungodly that the Bible speaks of. They are the wicked that the Bible speaks of. All right. The world bankers, the wicked elites. All right. And they're running this kingdom, mainly America, but the earth as a whole, ungodly. And the Most High has set an example. Now, the Most High is a man, is not a man that he should lie, Salakia. So the Most High's words are not going to come back to him void. All right? This wicked kingdom is being ran in an ungodly fashion. So just like Sodom and Gomorrah was overthrown, all right, by fire, America is going to be overthrown by fire, which is by the way of thermonuclear missiles. Verse 7, and delivered just Lot vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked and once again we represent noah and lot all right because we are vexed with the filthy conversations of this wicked kingdom all right verse eight 
for that righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. And we are vexed day for day. All right. Every day that we are, are allowed to wake up here in this wicked kingdom, we are vexed. All right. Things that we see, uh, uh, such as what the media gives us. All right. Our day to day walk in this life. All right. Day to day frustrations. All right. Mainly because we are being ruled by the wicked. All right. Verse nine. The Lord know of how to deliver the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. All right. And that day of judgment is is quickly approaching for the ungodly to be judged. All right. And for the righteous to be delivered out of the ultimate plague that's coming to America. All right. Which is, by the way, of thermonuclear missiles. This is the book of Isaiah. Chapter 66. And verse 15. And it reads. For behold and behold means look. The Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, will come with fire. And that fire, once again, is the thermonuclear missiles. And with his chariots like a whirlwind, to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. So those flames of fire that the Most High, all right, is coming with, number one, our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah, all right, riding upon a huge fathership, zapping this place with concentrated beams of fire or laser beams and the rest of the host of heaven, heaven the rest of the Allahim, the rest of the angels also zapping this place with laser beams, all right, accompanied by the way of thermonuclear missiles, all right, that's a great fire, all right, that's that fire, all right, that was seen in the book of Revelation, all right, uh, 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 a sea of fire mingled with glass, all right, that's all of those thermonuclear missiles, which Revelation 9 and 16 tells us the number uh, 200 million missiles shall touch down on the soils of America. That's that fire that was mingled with glass, all right? And Lord willing, we be delivered out of it, all right? We will see America being overthrown by the way of thermonuclear missiles and those concentrated beams of fire coming from the chariots. Verse 16, for by fire and by his sword will the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall be many, all right? And that ultimate sword, all right, is going to be those thermonuclear missiles, all right? And why is this place going to be overthrown? Because an example has been set how not to run a kingdom. And America is being ran by the ungodly the way that the Most High don't like, all right? And these these wickeds, elites, all right, they are purposely uh, 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 trying to uh, get rid of the saints, all right? They are purposely trying to come with their new world order because they know uh, that they have but a short time, as the scripture says. But an example has been set, not how to run a kingdom. That's why America is going to be destroyed in like manner to Sodom and Gomorrah. This is Isaiah chapter 13, and verse 5, and it reads, They come from a far country. Who is that they? All right, the thermonuclear missiles, which the book of Joel tells us that none of these missiles are going to miss their target. All right, none of them are going to bump into each other on the way over here. All right, this is the book of Joel, chapter 2, and verse 7, it says, they shall run, and that they are the thermonuclear missiles, they shall run like mighty men. They shall climb the wall like men of war. This is the Most High's army, all right? And he's sending his army upon America. It says, and they shall march every one on his ways, all right? And they shall not break their ranks, all right? Meaning, none of the 200 million missiles that Revelation 9 and 16 gives of the gives of the number of are going to break their rank all of them are going to hit their target which is america it says neither shall one thrust another see they shall walk every one in his path 
And when they fall upon the sword, which is America's defense system, they shall not be wounded. All right. So America's defense system is not going to wound not one of the thermonuclear missiles that's going to be shot upon America. That's how America is going to be destroyed in one hour, as the book of Revelation 18 speaks of. That's why America is the ungodliest place upon the planet, and it shall be destroyed. It must be destroyed by the way of thermonuclear missiles, all right? America is that cancer that is plaguing the earth, and the earth is the body. So in order to take the cancer out of the body, so the body t uh, can continue, it got to be radiated out by radiated fire. And that radiated fire is coming by the way of thermonuclear missiles to totally destroy America. All right. So this is back in Isaiah 13 and 5. They come from a far country. They being the thermonuclear missiles. And how do they come from a far country? Because they are intercontinental ballistic missiles. Missiles that are capable of coming from one continent to another. And that continent that those 200 million missiles are coming to is America. It says, from the end of heaven, even the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. All right, so the spirit of the Most High is going to be in those missiles. That's why when we read in Joel chapter 2, none are going to uh, miss their target and none are going to break their rank. All right, none are going to hit each other, all right, because the Most High Spirit is going to be guiding those missiles to their target. Let's read it again. Isaiah 13 and 5, they come from a far country, they being the intercontinental ballistic missiles, from the end of heaven, even the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. So the Spirit of the Lord is going to be guiding those missiles to destroy the whole land. And what's that whole land? America. And that's the day that we are hasting. Why? Because we shall be delivered out of that day. Just like uh, uh, Noah, just like uh, a lot was delivered, okay? We're going to fall in those same footsteps, Lord willing, we be a part of, of that number that is predestinated in Yahweh Shah. That's why we can't wait for that day, all right? Once that RFID chip slash NFC chip uh, 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 hit the market as being mandated, that day is fastly approaching. It's going to speed up, as Apostle Tahar say. Isaiah 13 and 6. How ye, for the day of the Lord is at hand. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. All right? So the Most High is sanctioning this day. All right? This day is not going to be as the Christian church uh, represents the coming of our Lord. All right? The Christian church represents it as a day of 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 prosperity a day of love no it's going to be a day of gloominess and a day of darkness all right this is malachi chapter 4 and verse 1 for behold the day cometh that shall burn as an oven and all the proud who is the proud starting with the top tier elites of the world the world bankers and two-thirds of our people all right because they follow in their footsteps they are conformed to this world just like the wicked all right, and the rest of the heathen nations. How is that day going to burn as an oven? By those intercontinental ballistic missiles, those 200 million missiles being shot upon America. That's the day of the Lord. It says, yeah, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. How do you create stubble for the wicked? By the way of intercontinental ballistic missiles. And the day that cometh shall burn them up. Say of the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. All right. So nothing is going to escape those missiles. All right. Except for the elect and the elites. All right. The elites are going to escape just to be thrown into slavery, to build the kingdom of heaven upon earth for a thousand years. And after that last uh, second of that thousand year period is up. They're going to be done away with. They're going to be gathered together in a big bonfire and we're going to get rid of them. All right. But the elect, Lord willing, we be a part of that number. And that great day of the Lord, Yahweh Shai is going to deliver us. All right. He's going to call us up. All right. In those chariots in that day. All right. This is Isaiah 26 and verse 20. And it says, come, my people, 
enter thou into thy chambers, and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment. And what's that little moment? Matter of fact, let's get it. The book of Revelation, chapter 18. And in verse 10, it says, Standing afar off for the fear of her torment, who is the her? America. What's her torment? The ultimate plague, the thermonuclear missiles, the intercontinental ballistic missiles, the 200 million missiles that shall hit America. It says, saying, alas, alas, that great city Babylon, which is America, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. All right. So that's why here in Isaiah chapter 26 and verse 20. It says, Come, my people, enter into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee. What are the chambers? All right. Our vehicles of salvation, which the world call them UFOs, which is an acronym for unidentified flying objects. But the acronym that we use here in this thing of ours is the IFOs, which we identify them. They are identifying flying objects as our vehicles of salvation. The chambers represents our vehicles of salvation, which are the chariots of the Most High. All right. And during the indignation from the Most High, the ultimate overthrow of America, the elect is going to be saved of out of it. All right. Isaiah 26 and 20. Come, my people, the elect, enter into thy chambers, the IFOs, the identifiable flying objects, the vehicles of the Most High, and shut thy doors about thee. Just like when Noah entered into the ark, the Most High shut the door on the ark. It says, hide thyself as it were for a little moment. And what's that little moment? America being destroyed in that one hour that we just read in Revelation 18. Until the indignation, the Most High's indignation, which is righteous anger, be overpassed. All right, until the thermonuclear missiles finish its job or their, their job, all right, which is the ultimate destruction of America. And that's the, the weapons of the Most High's indignation because an example has been set, all right, and in, in America... Uh, is doing a terrible job. That's why America is the cancer of the body, the body being the earth, and the cancer must be taken away by that radiated fire, which are the intercontinental ballistic missiles, 200 million missiles destroying the cancer of the earth, which is America. All right, And we being saved out of that total destruction, which is the elect. Lord willing, we be a part of that number that is predestinated for salvation in Yahweh in those times that are fastly approaching. Lord willing, I pray that this has been edifying. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, Ka Halal, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Waha Raka Quidash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Shalom and total destruction of America. Death to America.